Titanfall is so Titanfall failed because Titanfall technically had a single player mode, but it was always online, right? And but you could get through the story, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're still being jumped into match made PvP activities. But the nice happen to have an additional objective. But the nice thing about it is that it was one of those things where if you literally unplugged your headset or muted everybody and it was a more of a single player style game, and that's okay. The single player part of Evolve is silly and stupid. Like it is. It it doesn't it doesn't work. The bots are smart, but they're not as smart as humans. And when you get that monster to stage three, I lose every time. Yeah. And the part the problem that I have with Evolve, because I love Evolve, but I don't have three other friends who want to run with me and attack. Most people actually want to be the monster. It's more fun. And I completely understand, but I don't love being the monster. It's just not yeah. I just don't love it. However, if if we had five people, but again, this is a problem with the community. So if we got you, me, and a five, you know, three other people together, and they would just rotate us around for whoever wanted to be the monster type thing, for that, and because you choose your who right, you, you want to be your for yeah, right your hierarchy. Cool. I, I've never played Evolve. Yeah, uh, but I know a heck of a lot about the game. Yes, um, you watched so a lot caveat, of Evolve. Right. So caveat all the negative things that I've said said about Evolve. I, I completely agree. I think the game's awesome. Um, but, but it doesn't work. What lets it fail? I I frequently you know basically every day watch live streams of um of evolve i think it's a fun game to watch mm -hmm. and i think that it's a, a huge potential for the mlg territory um, if people would play it if people would play it you're absolutely mm -hmm. right um but you have a great point in the you know you you got to have those friends that community that those friends to play with otherwise you know kind of you you got to be a diehard fan otherwise what's the point i was in the alpha which would not work on any console or anything I owned. PC, Xbox One, PlayStation 4. Wouldn't work at all. I immediately got angry. And I was upset about that. Beta came around and I went, all right. And I played the beta and it was fun. And then I did a technical stress test for it, which was a lot of fun. Um, and I met three or four people doing that that I was like, I like this guy. And we became PlayStation friends, kind of like how you did with Destiny. And we were like, dude, if you ever want to play, let's roll. And then this guy had two or three of his friends. We played private matches the whole time. Yeah, We just did that. And then, then they went back to their Call of Duties. I know it sounds really silly, but they just went back to that. And yeah. it's because if you can't get your 12 friends online, your, I mean your 12 friends, your four friends online, you don't want to play. And then people right. are dropping in. I'm, I'm not kidding. I tried to do it again the other day just to make sure. People are dropping in and out. I got auto-joined into a game where I just yeah. got thrown in. And I, well, the guy who was playing the monster was terrible, but that's against the point. When we won, when you got to stage three, but that was because we were really good at it. And there are so many people that the trapper is so essential to that game. Mm -hmm. So essential to that game. If you don't, you got to know when to put the dome up and when to put the, take it down. And you also need to realize that trapping the monster at all times is a bad idea. It if is. if your, if your assault is dead, why are you trapping the monster? You yeah, fool! Or if you if you're able to if you're able to get a monster who is attacking you, especially on the defense wave, mm -hmm. um, if you are if you are getting a monster who is attacking you, don't dome the monster. Right. Attack the monster, destroy that shield, and he's gonna go away. That's when you dome. Right. And, and trappers don't understand that. Right. For the most part. Yeah, I mean that's and that's what the thing is that and then if the computer's playing it, do, well, the they never the dome. A, the computers attack all time by the monster too, which is a whole. Set and and they also don't dome either, you know. And so it's like yeah. okay, and then if you have and so for me it just it just doesn't work. The support doesn't work. They don't shield when you're supposed to. Uh, and I play as the medic almost always, and I have to say I am, I'm also unimpressed with the fact. And I get why they do it, I understand, but I hate the fact that I can't just choose which gun I have and go in as so and so, right? So I you want, want like you want like uh, Kyra's grenade launcher, but to go in as Val kind of thing. I want to go in with Lazarus's sniper rifle, okay. with the... really not Val's, uh, because Lazarus. But think about me though, right? Right. I miss. Is a, is a no scope rapid fire, whereas Val's a bolt action guy. Correct. Where solid. every single time, boom, I'm not good no. at that. Right. right. Meanwhile, right. with I can still aim and go, boom, 
poom, poom, better. The grenade launcher is cool. It's it's a little clunky right now. Yeah, they need to work the it out. The grenade launcher, as far as damage goes, is basically useless. However, it's the best healing gun in the game. Correct. I haven't used I haven't used Slim, and I won't because I won't buy him. So yeah. there you go. But I don't know a lot about the the DLC characters. Uh, I know um, the the new DLC characters. I should right. Say. Um, I know the assault class, um, and I know a little bit about the um, trapper. Mm. Um, but outside of that, I don't know a whole lot. And then if you, but people who get the one that ha if you have come in with Daisy, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't get that class and you go with the one where you need sensors put up, people don't use that right either. You know? They don't. Um. They, yeah, you're talking uh, if they go in with uh, Hank with the sound right. spikes. Right. Yeah, and um, but I I agree with it. They don't. Know and Daisy's still spikes. broken. So. <laughs> da Daisy is really broken. So I get uh, it. The the worst part about Daisy is she doesn't like to revive when she's not revived. I have not had that problem with Daisy personally. <laughs> I've not had that problem with Daisy personally, but it's when she when she stands on a waterfall and goes oh, and then runs this way, three <laughs> steps and then goes oh, and then runs three steps this way, and I'm like, right. I'm just gonna go look myself because right. uh, chances are I'm gonna run into him. You're standing in one spot, so right. yeah, that's it for me. But anyway, yeah. go ahead. And I hate um, that's not my biggest problem with Hank though. My biggest problem with Hank is Hank's the only the only player that can provide a shield. Mm -hmm. um, uh, well, directly provide a shield without having the sentries do it. And so you have a lot of players, which justifiably, because he's fun, plays Lazarus. Mm -hmm. However, Lazarus doesn't have a healing ability. He's got his little, you know, healing burst, which is useless to everybody involved. Um, and so there's got to be a, a communication between... Um, that class and the other because if he's playing as Laz, you have to play as Hank. Mm -hmm. um, and you have to understand that your job now no longer becomes damage. Um, your job becomes keeping everyone alive. Right. And people aren't willing to give up their, their damage to play as a team. Correct. Which is really annoying. And that's the, and that's the thing too with Lazarus is you gotta, you, you can after they're dead, you can revive people which is cool. Yeah. But I can't, I, there's no preventative maintenance so to speak. So yeah, and the best yeah. the best tactic I've seen with with Laz is Laz is useless mm -hmm. except for revive. Mm -hmm. not, damage wise, even not very good. Stay out of the you fight. Can, well, I mean that's the point. So if you're if you're Lazarus, you stay out of the fight. Yep. You you get your cloak ready. You mm -hmm. make spots for the assault to shoot. Right, that's the best mm -hmm. you can do. But when those spots are there, stop shooting, man. Like just yep. stop. Go down. Hide behind a bush. I mean, or, you know, there's a lot of, you can do other things too. You can make sure that you are going down with your, you can cloak, go down with your heal burst and go right next to the assault, literally heal him and jump out, right? Yeah. So that was my whole tactic with him. But the problem is, is that people don't understand that. And I hated it when people were yelling, dude, heal me, dude, heal me. And I go, no, I'm I Lazarus. I can't heal you, right? Yeah. And that's the other problem too, is that people go in guns blazing instead of stepping back. And going, okay, I need to draw the monster away so Laz can come in and go, and he's alive, and he's alive, right? And that's the difference. Anyway, so I don't know how we got on.